Hi guys, so I wanted to share with you my latest bag because I've been on the hunt for either a pink or white bag since the summer. It's taken me this long to find it because I was really specific with what I wanted and um, it's from Spring Summer 2022 runway shows. But um, I'm really, really excited because it took so long to find and it was definitely worth the wait even if it meant missing this summer having it. I'll still use it in winter, it's fine. I was torn between white and pink, thinking white would go with more, but it would get dirty easier. And then white is still a neutral in my book, so it's fine. It'll still go with everything. I'll make it work. But why I want, why it was so difficult to find a bag is A, the kind of leather I want to. I don't want patent because I don't really like the high shine. It's not my favorite. And then I wanted kind of a calf skin or bull skin leather or caviar, some kind of textured leather because lambskin, really pretty, looks really luxurious, it feels great, but it scratches so easy. And I'm one of these people that if I see scratches on things, it really bothers me. I also wanted a structured style. I really, really like structured styles. I wanted a top handle. I wanted something that closed, but was easy to open, that was the right size to fit my iPhone 13 in, that accused me day to night. I'm really into gold chunky chain straps right now. So there was just so many boxes to check off. That's what made it so difficult. It's not, I wanna say I'm not fussy, but I'm particular. So when I know what I want, it actually really helps filter down what I'm looking for. And I finally found it. I actually saw it watching the runway show first on YouTube and then I hunted it down and it was like absolutely perfect. The thing it was missing, which is why I have two bags, was the gold chain strap, but I have a solution for that. So that's awesome. So let's dig in. What I ended up with was Versace. And if you read my blog, you know how much I love Versace. There's just something so glamorous, so feminine about it. It's always a statement piece. I think if you're investing in a bag, as much as it's nice to have classic styles, I like statement pieces as well that are actually going to be like the center of attention of the outfit. Um, what else? I just think it's just such a feminine glam brand. And because I have other Versace outfits and bags, I can tie this into other looks I have. I have a lot of pink. So I went for pink. I went for caviar leather. And this is their new Medusa Spring Summer 2022 runway bag. So what I didn't love about it, I'll start off with the don't love first because it's easy to see what's to love about it, was the acrylic strap. Now, while this is gonna be great for the daytime, it's great for the summer, it's super on trend now. It's a good height for there, or you can also just leave it hanging, that's kind of cute as well. But that's not a deal breaker because it's detachable. So okay, I just get rid of that. So I love that there's different options with this bag. So I can use it as a cute little top handle bag. It's really structured, which is another massive trend. It's pink, which you know is such my favorite color. It doesn't have as much gold hardware in, so the Medusa is actually tone on tone in this. It's not the gold, so if you're wearing silver, it's still going to go. It also comes with, I literally haven't even opened this yet, a leather version of the shoulder strap. So this is going to give you a third look. So we have the acrylic, the leather that's just, just going to snap on as well, easy. And it's adjustable with all of the little links. And then I'm going to do a little close up. You can see it's actually the textured leather on it, so it's going to make it more durable and it's going to be less wear. Then you can see the gold hardware on the side where you can attach all the different chains. And then obviously that Medusa head on the front, and then the Versace stamp on the back. And what I love is it's actually quite a wide bag, so it's the right size for day and night, but the inside is actually quite roomy which I really like about it. So that's a decent size bag, isn't it? It's nice and wide. And then there is, I always like it when there's a little internal pocket, if you wanna put your phone or your credit cards. I tend to put my card holder in there. Just makes it easy to find my credit card and my ID. Okay, so what I said it was missing was the gold chain strap. So I actually saw the strap before I found the bag because I was going to get it for my little white Versace clutch that has the gold Medusa head. I was actually looking for it then. This just arrived. So literally I was like, oh, it's arrived. I'm going to make a little video, pop on and say hi. There's also all the other reasons I chose this bag. I put it on the blog as well, but I wanted you to see the bag first because I couldn't even find pictures of celebrities wearing it. The only ones I could find was on the runway. 
and from, so I'm having issues with this, was the runway show and on their website because literally no one has this bag yet because it's so new. Um, and I, it sounds weird because I'm good at shopping with any budget. If you were following me last year, I was grounded for the year. I normally travel a lot for work, so which I made no money last year. So I was ordering a lot of things on Shein. So I'm one of those, I can make any budget work. So if you're having issues finding things, let me know. So I could just do a Christmas dress post and a lot of people wanted dresses under $100. So there's loads on there as well. So, and that's another reason that I to spend time when I'm looking for designer bags and designer investment pieces is because I'm not going to buy a new piece every season. That'd be lovely. But you know, I'm not looking for a bag that's actually going to be, it's still fashion forward, but it's also an investment piece. I'm making a right meal of this, aren't I? At least like, I'm, a, I'm a talker, so I don't have a problem putting it down. I'm just keeping you on the suspense longer. Okay. So, in here from Versace is the gold chain. They actually sell a gold chain designed for your bags separately with those hooks on the end that you just snap on. And then I'm going to come and give you a little close up once I put this all together. I have to say it's lighter than I thought it was going to be, which as much as that makes it feel cheaper to me, I actually kind of appreciate in the practical sense because no one wants to be carrying a heavy chain handbag. If this was solid gold weight, A, it would be way more expensive, but B, it would weigh a ton. This is actually the same weight as the acrylic strap, so it's not like you're putting a dead weight on your handbag. And there you go, it just totally changed the look of the bag and kind of takes it from day to night. So that just snapped on the side and then right on there is the little Medusa gold head. So that ties in with that. So again, you could just carry it. If you wanted to carry it long, you could carry it long. You can put it on your little wrist. It's, it is a spread bare arms. You could, you can put it in your elbow. It, the strap is big enough. And then that chain is long enough to then wear it on your shoulder. So this is my new favorite find. And then again, now that I bought this chain, the chain isn't cheap, I'm not gonna lie, but it's now given me four different handbags. So this was a really, really good purchase. Another cool thing I just figured out is you can also use the chain strap as a belt. Depending on your waist size, it's kind of like, I don't think you have, it could probably like be up to a 26 inch waist, I think, to make that work. But that'd be really cute, even just around a little romper or a jumpsuit as well. Obviously, it comes in loads of different colours. I really love the black one as well that has the gold Medusa head and the gold handle, which is why I kind of like when I saw the gold strap and the gold head in the black, I was leaning towards that. But I already have so many black bags. This is why I thought this is so good for summer. So that's why I chose the Versace Medusa bag from their 2022 Spring Summer Collection. I was thinking about the year then, that's why there was a <laughs> pause. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'm gonna put a link to it in the caption section of this, um, as well as the dimensions, and also a link to the separate strap, because honestly, I think that's worth having, especially the fact that you can detach it. If you have other Versace bags, you can also use it on that. Okay, so I thought I would share with you a few of the ways I like to style the Versace Medusa bag to get the most use out of it possible. First one is obviously with the acrylic strap, and that's kind of cute just for a little everyday daytime look for the spring and summer, and then obviously you can wear it on your shoulder as well. It's not long enough to wear it as a crossbody, but it's long enough just to put under your shoulder or just to use that, just leave it hanging still for a bit of decor and use it as a top handle. And then this is the leather strap it comes with. And then obviously that is long enough to use as a crossbody if you wanted to wear that with jeans, jean shorts and a t-shirt or tank in the summer. That's super easy to throw on and it also has adjustable lengths if you want it a bit longer or shorter. So I love top handle bags. It always remind me of Lady Dior as well. It's just that very structured kind of classic style. So I think it's really well for weddings and brunches just to have a little top handle. And if you need to free your hands, obviously you can just put it on your wrist or elbow. And then, like I said, I have so much pink in my wardrobe. So for me, it works as a neutral, but before buying a colorful bag, I would definitely suggest checking what else you have in your wardrobe to go with it so you actually get use out of it.
So this is the extra gold chain that I bought that just snaps on. And I just think it's a really nice addition to go from day to night and just to tie in if you're wearing pink shoes or if you have gold accessories, just a fun little finish for everything. So obviously this is additional, so is the last look I'm gonna show you. So another styling idea is to take a skinny scarf or twilly and use that just as you would on any other bag. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.